thanks for joining me. I'm Rebecca Dawson, just spending a few moments with you discussing the November 2018 monthly message that was just received a little while ago. I've been reflecting on some of the words that have come through and are very timely, I believe, for a lot of the events and experiences we're having at the moment that don't seem to make any sense at all in terms of where we have been, where we thought we were going and uh, how our lives are unfolding. So I was very interested to, to hear that the focus of this month's message was really about listening more to the intelligence of the body, uh, that something is happening rather than the mind. Especially because um, when we're feeling as if things aren't moving as fast as we'd like them to, or in the direction that we'd like them to, it's easy to think that nothing's really happening. And yet, so much is happening within the body right now. The cells are really coming to life. I've been hearing from a lot of people around the world saying that they're having changes in body temperature all the time, changes in their senses, changes in, in how their cells are feeling at the moment, suddenly being very heightened in attention and then wanting to go to sleep several times throughout the day. So there's an awful lot happening right now within the body. And I think that this month's message was such a wonderful, um, poignant reminder of how it's okay to trust what the body is sensing. Now, because a lot of what's happening within our reality at this time supersedes anything that we have reference or experience for before, particularly in terms of the multi-dimensional experience that's happening. Our bodies are not in alignment with our brains in that they have an understanding that something's moving, something's happening, even if our brains don't have a reference for what that is. So because your brain doesn't understand what's happening with your body and your senses, it's easy to go into fear. And yet this is a time of wonderment for us. It's a time to say, wow, something is really moving here. Something is really happening. I don't know what it is, but something is occurring. And to be able to place our excitement and our trust in that kind of movement instead of a linear kind of predictable movement is, is quite a leap. It's a leap because it requires a suspension of thought. And so that brings us to the other great theme from this month's message, which is how do we actually have an experience without having the belief there for it first? How do we create without the belief being there first? This really enables us to start to create a world where everything is new. And we can actually come to believe it after we've experienced it. Now, well, I wonder how this is playing out for you in your life. For me personally, it's been a series of events, uh, experiences and occurrences that have unfolded and happened so easily that it's almost impossible to believe that it actually happened at all. Um, I've been traveling a lot recently. I've been away from Perth for the last six weeks in various places. And there's been so many times where I've actually had to check in with other people there with me to say, did that actually just happen? Because I have no reference for things happening that easily and that harmonically from any of the past memories that my mind have. One of the other really interesting things that's happening now as well is this experience of time that's changing. We've all been aware that time, our experience of time has been accelerating. And then we've gone through an experience where we can either expand time out or we can collapse it so we can make time go quickly or we can get a lot done in a very limited amount of time. The last few weeks and moving forward within the next seven to ten weeks is going to be a very interesting time for us where we start to experience being in different times at once. Now the body is what's going to allow you to understand that this is happening because the mind's going to have a hard time with it. But you'll start to be having experiences, or it's very likely that you'll start to be having glimpses into being in two different places at once, two different times at once, or two different realities at once. Just an example of this, this is how I've been experiencing it personally. Walking down a street somewhere in a city and suddenly having an experience of having done it in a different time. Another experience is waking up in the middle of the night in your bedroom and having an acute awareness that you're somewhere else at the same time. 
another experience again is two different versions of reality unfolding in front of you where you can very clearly see this pathway and very clearly see this pathway and for a moment the two of them are existing simultaneously. There is also <laughs> an awful lot of grief happening at the moment still. So we've been through the shattering in July. We're coming out of the aftermath of that. And I know that in my life and in, in many lives of those that I know and love and others who I'm very much in tune with and for most of you listening to this probably, you've been discovering that a lot of loved ones are leaving the planet right now. Masters have touched on this briefly before and they didn't really bring it up during this month's message, but I'm going to bring it up because I think it's a very important I've lost several friends and family members in the last year and one last week and two more that will be happier within the next few days, including close family members for me. And I was reflecting upon this the other day and uh, because I know that it's, it's coming up and reflecting on what grief really is for us. Now, when we lose a loved one, we really lose a piece of our identity that we referenced with them. Because all of the relationships and experiences that we have in life are reference points for who we are. So for example, I lost an, uh, an uncle last weekend, he was born on the 3rd of August. And everybody that was speaking at the funeral, including myself, was talking about their memories of him. And every person that spoke was talking about their memories of being with that person. And so it, it's been occurring to me that when somebody dies or we lose somebody in our life through a breakup, or we lose a home, or we lose a job, or we lose something that's very dear to us, we actually lose a reference point for our identity for who we are. And because there's been an awful lot of that in my life lately, and perhaps for you too, I'm starting to see that all of these reference points leaving my space, although there is grief there, Every time a reference point leaves, it's almost as if something that was holding my identity in place is gone and something is there. Something will be there to replace it. So it's almost like space is being made for new reference points to come. So then I was considering that perhaps every time a reference point is lost, every time someone I love passes away, every time there is a sense of grief, that it's a moment of rebirth rebirth for a new identity, rebirth for a new version of myself. And that gradually these points of reference that have been removed are going to be replaced by new ones. So I just wanted to share that with you because it's been quite a big week for me and will be coming up in terms of losing loved ones. Um, so perhaps that can be of assistance to some of you as well who are going through something similar. So we also want to share with you more about the uh, suspension of belief because uh, suspension of belief, of course, is such a big theme running through this month's message and is such a leap of faith in everything we do with choice, with how we uh, decide to live our lives, with who we decide to be with and quite often allowing yourself to have an acute, intense experience and then believe it later. So we did discuss this very briefly at the beginning of the conversation today. You're going to find that moving forward in the next few weeks, there's going to be a few more occurrences that happen like this, particularly on the world arena too. There'll be things that start to come out of the blue that you'll say, well, I can't believe that actually happened. Where did that come from? Um, and it really is designed to get us to start to move out of what our brains understand is possible and get into the universal realms uh, and scopes of possibility. So paying attention is really, really important in the next few weeks, being very, very present to what is unfolding, being very clear that changes and sensations and senses in your body are really designed to get you to be present to creation points that are occurring. And also to be aware of how time and the experience of time is changing for us, uh, very likely to be experiencing 
two different times at once, two different places at once, two different versions of reality at once, because our bodies are now beginning to give us the capacity to sense beyond third dimensional time space linearity. So more of a sense of who you are, more of a sense of who you've been and who you will be. It can be an, a confusing experience when that starts to happen. I've had um, quite a few experiences of that lately and the brain doesn't really understand what's happening, but the body is extremely excited about the fact that multiple versions of reality and timelines can now be sensed. So November here in Australia is spring, it's beginnings. I know that when you're in the fall there in the Northern Hemisphere, the fall is the falling away of reference points and the birthing of new ones for you. And the spring for us here in the Southern Hemisphere is beginnings. So if we put all of that together, we're all in the same space of creation at this time. Sending lots of love to all of you. May your grief also be a joy of new beginnings. May your body give you the most beautiful experiences that your mind doesn't understand at this time. And may you give yourselves permission to continue on in the not knowing and uh, observe with joy that which begins to be created now. Much love. See you next time.